The 80s brought us some interesting pieces of technology and even better commercials. But among all of the gimmicky products and slogans out there, who could forget the infamous clap on, clap off, the clapper. Sold since 1984, the clapper was one of the first mainstream devices that allowed for sound activated control of other household devices. You want your lights on? Clap twice. Your stereo on? You get the gist. Now, this may not be the most efficient way of controlling your home, but in the 80s, it was unparalleled. As you can see, integration of the digital and physical world is not a new idea, but advancements in the technology have made it a very hot topic of conversation. Take the smart home, for instance. With a smart home such as Google Nest or Amazon Echo, you can control your home's temperature, lighting, security system, and other appliances all from your smartphone. This allows you to turn off the lights or adjust the temperature of your house even when you're not there, leading to higher energy savings, not to mention convenience. Another great example of digital and physical integration is the use of wearable technology. Wearable technology, such as smartwatches and fitness trackers, can track a person's physical activity and provide feedback on their health and wellness. Moreover, these types of technology can be life-saving devices. In September 2019, Gabe Burdett described in a Facebook post that he was on his way to meet his father to go mountain biking when his dad did not arrive at their meeting spot. While he was waiting, Burdett received a text from his father's Apple Watch, alerting him that the watch had detected a hard fall and had called 911 with his father's location. Within 30 minutes of the fall, 911 and his emergency contacts were alerted, the ambulance had arrived, and his father was already on his way to the hospital. So, with all of the convenience and safety that smart devices bring, how could they possibly impact us negatively? The potential for privacy concerns is a major issue, as some people may not want their personal data to be tracked or shared with others. And, as we become more connected, we are also more vulnerable to cyber attacks and data breaches. For example, if a hacker gains access to a person's smart home device, they could potentially control various aspects of the home, which could be extremely dangerous. Another issue, which may not be as obvious at first, comes with the associated cost with these types of technology. The rising cost of technology can have several negative impacts on society, particularly due to its inaccessibility for some individuals or groups. This can lead to a digital divide where those who cannot afford to access the technology are left behind and unable to participate fully in modern day society. Ultimately, this can result in limited access to education, healthcare, job opportunities, and communication tools, leading to a widening gap between the rich and poor. Additionally, the high cost of technology can contribute to environmental issues due to the increased production and disposal of electronic devices. As you can see, through the use of these technologies, we can create a seamless and efficient experience that benefits both individuals and businesses as long as we are aware of the potential downsides. So what do you think? Have you considered turning your home into a smart home? Have you already? Or does smart technology just not interest you? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always in the know.